a little loving and keep moving on. At the center, David, soon to be one of the biggest teen idols of the decade. I think I love you. This morning, I woke up with this feeling. Everywhere I would go, um, chaos would sort of break out. I was, um, I was an accident always waiting to happen, and that freaked me out a lot. When you become too famous, or you become too cool, or you become too, um, especially being associated with like television, it tends to give you the stigma of not having credibility. The Partridge family did have its perks, but let's face it, the lyrics weren't exactly inspiring in those outfits. Funky maroon vests and that white ruffle collar? Five white kids dressed as Superfly. Eventually, it all became too much for David. In 1975, he just walked away, turning his back on his huge career. So where is he now? I don't want to be anybody else but me, you know? David's return to his musical roots. In 1996, he made a triumphant return to the stage, Vegas style, in the big MGM grand extravaganza, FX. As he approaches the big 5-0, David's at peace with his former teen idol status. I think I love you. I think I love you. In 1998, he released Old Trick New Dog, which includes some Cassidy classics funked up for a new generation. There's no bridge I wouldn't cross. There's no river that's too wide. Mine is a remarkably good story. Ten years soaring, ten years falling, another ten years of soaring. So this time I got it all because I've been both places and I sure know what I prefer. I really love being me. David wasn't the only Cassidy with girl power. Half-brother Sean enjoyed a brief run as teen heartthrob. He had the pants and the move to prove it. That's no workout tape, that's Sean's act. His singing career was just long enough to earn him platinum status for his 1977 self-titled album. That same year, Sean took the next step, his very own TV show, the Hardy Boys. Just a lot of power tools for all the Goodell doers. So think positive. I am thinking positive. It's a situation that's negative. But Sean never took the teen idol gig too seriously. I knew, uh, just as it began, that it would be very short-lived. And I knew that it was very much a, a novelty sort of thing. And I was going to enjoy it as much as I could, but not, uh, you know, base my life on that. Good thinking. So where's Sean now? In 1994, Sean and half-brother David joined forces for Broadway's critically acclaimed Blood Brothers. As he's gotten older, Sean's tapped into his darker side, ducking behind the camera as a writer, producer, and series creator, including the eerie TV show American Gothic. He's embraced a creepier approach to art, and the world's a better place for it. Thankfully, Sean's days as a sugar-coated teeny bopper are safely preserved on video. To teenage girls, Bobby Sherman had it all. Accessible, boyishly cute, and a great image even mom could love. Plus, he had a primo gig as Jeremy on Here Come the Brides. Tell her to go back to Seattle. Sure thing. Go back to Seattle. No. In the early 70s, teen girls prayed at the altar of Bobby Sherman. He had four top ten hits, including 1970's Julie, Do You Love Me? Julie, do you love me? Bobby's shtick was vintage 70s, and as the decade came to a close, so did Bobby's career. So where's Bobby now? Brace yourself.
Bobby's a sworn police officer and works as an emergency medical training officer in L.A. And it's a labor of love. So it's kind of a way of giving something back to the community for them giving something to me. And that was a long and, and successful and happy career. That early success has gone a long way. Bobby was so smart with his teen idol money that today he's able to donate his salary to a nonprofit group that provides emergency medical services in Southern California. I always look back as being that teenage idol with great fondness. Easy come and easy go. What do you get when you add a cute 16-year-old boy, savvy management, and a couple of spots on American Bandstand? Here is a 16-year-old man that has caused quite a stir, the fabulous baby. Your earplugs and quick. Turn loose. Turn loose, I see. Fabiano Anthony Forte, that's Fabian to the rest of the world, was literally scooped off his South Philly doorstep to teen idol stardom. In 1959, he scored three top ten hits, Turn Me Loose, Tiger, and Hound Dog Man, Fabian's tribute to Elvis. He also did some acting. This boy was all the rave for about a year. The 60s ushered in a completely different sound, and Fabian the musician was through. So where's Fabian now? Check out that guy on the left. That's right, it's Fabian. And when he's not palling around with fellow ex-teen idols Frankie Avalon and Bobby Rydell on the Golden Boys tour, he's playing a teen angel in a touring production of Grease. Fabian has acted before, but no amount of recognition can shake teen idol status. I've had some good notices on my acting. I got an Emmy nomination as a producer. I'm even a good father. But when I drop dead, it'll be teenage, ex-teenage idol, Fabian. In 1998, Fabian appeared on Murphy Brown. Even TV's toughest newswoman never got over her Fabian crush. Happy birthday. <sighs> In 1998, Fade tied the knot with a true babe, Andrea Lynn Patrick, almost 20 years his junior and a former Miss Pennsylvania. Even though he's hitched, for many grown-up girls, Fabian will always be their favorite teen idol. I used to give a business card out, Fabian Forte, ex-teen idol. I love you. <laughs> Neat-o, Fabe. 